A new proposal from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force moves up the age at which most women are advised to start getting mammograms. The task force is suggesting all women with an average risk of breast cancer start screening at the age of 40. It suggests screening every other year until the age of 74. The task force's prior recommendation was that women begin that screening at age 50. This was out of a concern the benefit was less than the risk of false alarms, but now new evidence shows the rate of breast cancer among women ages 40 to 49 increased 2% each year from 2015 to 2019. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge says this change will have a positive impact. This update is really important because it removes lots of the confusion that women may have had about when to start their mammograms. The simple answer is for women of average risk, start at 40. Now women should continue to get mammograms until they're 74. There is still some question about the frequency of the test, yearly or every other year. I would say that's really where it's important for women to talk to their doctor to ensure that whichever strategy is chosen lines up with their concerns and their actual medical risk factors. Hey, Doc, thank you. And access to mammograms is getting easier in the city of Detroit thanks to a new machine that just arrived at the Community Health and Social Services Center. Help me, Hank. Hank Winchester profiled the center a few years back and joins us live now with the update. Uh, Hank, this is something that's been in the works for quite a while now. It certainly has, Kimberly, and this is just great news. As you mentioned, we have visited that community and health center a few times over the years, working to show the great work they do in this community and this new technology. Well, absolutely, it is going to make a huge impact. To have mammograms available on site, no cost. People coming here who come every day to get their health care can now take that step. They don't have to get on a bus or somehow get across town to a hospital or figure out some other way to get care. Senator Debbie Sabineau here at the Community Health and Social Services Center, otherwise known as CHAS in southwest Detroit. She's here as this new technology makes its way into this underserved neighborhood. Technology that will help hundreds of women. This is about screening for cancer, and we know that for women of color that breast cancer is the number one killer. This community health center established more than 40 years ago, and it works to help people in this neighborhood who may be struggling financially, who are unable to get to local hospitals or to doctors. They can do everything here under one roof. We've been working diligently for about three years to secure this machine, and we were able to get it with support from the community, support from Henry Ford Health, and now we have this life-saving screening test available for our community right here in the community. For the last few years, this community center has been working to raise the funds to get this mammography technology to help those in this community. We've been working to share this story over the years and thankful to you for your generous support. I loved our visit there to Chas because we got to see just how they work to connect with people in that neighborhood to make sure they get the health care that they need. A big thank you to all the corporate sponsors and to you, everyday Metro Detroiters who made donations to help make this gift possible. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Local 4. Yeah, really nice. Okay, Hank, thank you.